their military now enjoys leading edge capabilities that include long range precision strike, hypersonic weapons, uh, advanced integrated air and defense weapons, stealthy aircraft, surface to air missiles and electronic warfare. And several of those systems have the range to hold the US homeland at risk. To, at risk. And so the, the Chinese spy balloon, as was mentioned before, which garnered significant attention this past February, is a, a very loud wake up call regarding the CCP's global ambition. Unfortunately, the US is stretched thin when it comes to the capabilities and the capacity required to defend our homeland in, in the air domain, air and space domain. NORAD was originally designed to detect and defend North America from a catastrophic attack from the Soviet Union, later Russia. An additional role was added on after 9-11 to intercept, identify, and redirect uh, unidentified aircraft that are approaching restricted areas. But as threats evolve, including balloons, stealth aircraft, UASs, un unmanned aerial systems, cruise missiles, so must our detection and, and defense enterprise. This will require that we modernize current radars and install new sensors in emerging zones of vulnerability, not just over the nation, but well outside our sovereign territory so we can get a heads up that they're coming. We must invest resources in the NORAD mission. This, that command gets its aircraft from the U.S. Air Force, but the Air Force today is the oldest and the smallest it's ever been in history. We're still flying B-52s that are 60 years old, tankers that are over 50 years old, fighters over 30 years old, even the famed F-22, the best uh, air-to-air fighter ever made, first flew in 1997. Adversaries like China understand these vulnerabilities. The United States is gradually waking up to this reality, but leaders have yet to seriously address the shortfall. America's homeland is no longer a sanctuary against uh, threats like China. We must recognize this new reality and aggressively close critical gaps in capacity and capability in the air domain.